Hello and welcome to another entry in Ryan GB's World Thunder Plane Analysis. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Spitfire 1. The Spitfire 1 is a level 4 uh, British fighter, which is here in the British directory behind the Gladiator and uh, it has an average repair cost of 1656 uh, lions, which is a little bit steep for a level 4, but the plane really. I think it's worth it. Uh, this is a very nice aileron fighter. It's a very good accelerator and, and climber, and a good E fighter. It's also a decent turn fighter. Uh, it basically out turns anything that's not Japanese <laughs> at over level five and beyond, and anything that it doesn't out turn, it can out accelerate and out climb. So it's a very very neat plane. Mm, it's not a good boom and thumber. It's very light for that. Doesn't die very well. Doesn't zoom very well. And also has problem with the ailerons. These lock at very high speeds. And in a boom and thumber, you want to have uh, the better controllability at higher speeds as you can. Also, this plane has a couple troubles. Mm, the first of all is the fuel tank is here and the engine is here and both are really easy to get on fire i mean it you can really really light this plane off very easily this plane doesn't talk, take um, damage to the engine at all because you are going to find yourself on fire a lot of times um, also the problem i see with this plane is the weapons by level 4 there are planes with a couple 20 millimeter cannons for instance the boomerang the Henkel 112B, uh, the Light GG3 has a 20mm since level 3. Well, you have 8 light machine guns, which is not bad. I mean, they get the job done, but they require you to be very, very mm, specific in your flying to get things done. Basically, these things shoot very fast. They shoot 1,200 uh, 1, runs per minute, each one of them. So it puts up a lot of bullets in the air in a given time, but they are very light and they have a tough time killing very, very mm, tough targets. So in order to kill enemies, you want to put a lot of lead, a lot of bullets on them at very close ranges. At medium and long ranges, you are not going to kill anything. First of all, because the bullet is very small and it loses a lot of damage potential at medium and uh, long range ranges. And second, because your weapons are spread all around the wing, which means that in order to hit with all of them, you are going to have a very rough time. So in order to really, really, really put these weapons to good use, you have to be under maybe 400 meters. Beyond that, you are not, well, you can't kill something, but it's not usual. You want to be closer than that. And that means that you are a little bit restricted in your way you're flying, because you know you have to get very close to the enemy. <coughs> Sorry. That's not necessarily a bad thing but mm, really goes against the flexibility of the plane. This plane can't at all, can't boom and zoom, simply as that. Doesn't dive, doesn't climb uh, in a zoom, locks up some controls and the weapons are simply not suited to the task. It's a pretty decent energy fighter, it's pretty good for this level, um, but the weapons are suited for a turn fighter and while it, this is a very nice turn fighter against higher level enemies against same and lower level enemies well not so much because against a hurricane you're going to have problems versus a buffalo you're going to have problems versus a kitty hawk you may have some problems now and then uh, so well and of course versus soviet uh, b planes you're going to <laughs> be dead in no time if you try to turn with them um, but well the thing is the weapons is one of the things I like the less about, the, about this plane what I like about it well for this level is fast accelerates very well climbs very well and uh, it's a pretty competent fighter also it doesn't lose a lot of um, energy in high G maneuvers so 
that goes uh, for its ability as a, an energy fighter as well. So, well, I think I actually said most of it. One of the last things I want to mention is, as you can see, you don't have bombs, you don't have rockets, you are a pure fighter. Uh, you have 2,800 rounds. Seems a lot. But remember, each one of these things fires at 1,200 rounds a minute, which means <laughs> the, the, the ammo loadout is not going to last a lot. You're going to reload more than what you expect in this plane. Also remember that uh, this Mm, weapons fire very fast and they overheat very fast as well. So you want to try to put short bursts when possible. Long bursts will overheat the weapons very soon and you'll get a lot of a lot of yams. So well this is mostly it for the for the intro. Let's see some action and some games. So here we are. It's a ground attack mission. <coughs> And we are already near the, the enemy. I could the uh, initial part when I climb a bit. It's basically the same all the time. <coughs> As it's a ground attack mission, my main target right now are the enemy bombers. I'm keeping a look just in case something comes up for me. And I see a Junker Serie A going for the ground targets. So I dive behi behi uh, behind him. <coughs> the weapons of this plane are not the best ones for uh, killing bombers. That that's the first thing. I mean, they hit very lightly, and you need to be very close for them to deal a lot of damage. And defensive fire will be a problem. So, well, you see here, I start firing. I get at some 400 meters. You notice now I'm doing a long burst, and I jammed one of the machine guns. So I reload, pull up, try to put short bars when you can. It's not always possible, but as far as you can do it, just, yeah, try to do it. There I go again, I see an Edson 20 g the Junker 88. I'm going for the Junker 88 because it's closer. But he gets taken out, so for the Edson 20 g a very tough plane, that bomber, that American bomber is very good. Also, those um, frontal machine guns are to be feared. So, well, I cross him, go up, come down on him. Being quite careful because the 50 cars of the turret of that plane hit very hard, to be honest. But he's diving for our armored column and he decides he wants to die in his own bomb blast. Which is cool. Sorry. Which is cool. Not going to complain. So yeah, moving on. Um, I'm very near of the airbase right now, so I climb a bit. Moving back to action. Always looking around. You know that. And trying to choose where are we going to go and what are we going to do. I see an MC200 there with a Spitfire, but still I'm going to try my luck at him. As he coming for me, shoot some hits, uh, some rounds and pull up before he can ram me. Because at these levels, believe me, you are going to get rammed. Try to accept as few headons as you can. Because people love to ram in, this, in these levels. So well, I maneuver in the vertical. Stop the throttle to fall behind him. Put a long burst on him, and there he goes. First kill. So, next in line, I see a buffer there. Someone else above me, but just got killed. So, I aim for the buffer. But he crashed. So, I get a little separation to win some speed. Take a look around the airbase because I don't want anyone to be around. Make certain there's no one there. And there's a Henkel 111. So let's go for him. Again, the weapons are not, not the best for bomber killing, but well, you gotta do what you gotta do. There you go, some damage on the elevator. Climbing, getting separation, and get setting another pass. But he's going down and dead. 
climbing and reloading. Reload as much as you can display this time you are disengaged. It's not a lot of time to reload, even more if you have a good reload skill. And helps a lot because otherwise you might end up running out of ammo in the middle of an engagement and you don't want that. I see a TBF but it's heavily engaged, so and there you go. I see a Junkers 87, which is diving. Move to intercept. Turn, turn towards him. He's diving for the targets, obviously. And fire. But I'm very far, so I know I'm not going to do a lot of damage, so I don't. I don't waste my ammo. Keep following. There you go, he's turning again. Open fire, get some decent hits. Maneuver again. Get some good hits. Get some fire. And destroy it. Another kill. Climbing a bit, regaining some energy, some speed. As you can see, well, against enemy bombers is a very very good plane in maneuverability you can turn circles around any bomber but the weapons are not the best you need a lot a lot of hits to bring one of them down even a Junker 87 so well back in action CBF 110 followed by a bull fighter which means yes that's what means <laughs> he's dead so well looking for more targets, looking for more trouble. See a P39Q which is a pretty big fish right now in the game. It's a level six. And it's one of the highest levels, if not the highest level of the enemy team right now. So I keep an eye on him, he's going for one of our bombers, but I'm too far to assist. And there's a lot of red there. A lot. So I'm not moving there. I'll go for the P39Q. Always keeping an eye there. See a buffalo. Keep an eye on that P shooter. Buffalo goes under me, so I go vertical. See that he's not coming for me, so I close the loop and I'm for him. Keeping a track on what's to our right. It's all our engaged side. Right now I'm pretty much confident nothing is coming for us. I see the buffalo is moving away, so no use in that. Select the P39, highest level, highest threat, so keep that in mind for, for a pass. But the buffalo is in a better position, so I follow him. As you can see, I'm in a very good fun turning pl plane, but I don't stick to his 6. Why? Because I want to keep my energy up. If I have to, and if I'm forced to, I will turn. There you go, there's a PF109 who's fighting the dust. Going for the buffalo again. And get him. Now he's there, a cobra. Barrel roll around him. Putting a little bit of throttle to better falling position, but he gets taken out. See a um, P shooter down there. Did a bit, and there you go, another kill. Okay, select the buffalo there. Buffalos are very dangerous planes for, for the Spitfire 1. They turn very well and they keep energy very well. So be careful against those. You see, I try to fire burst, but not yam my weapons. Follow the buffalo. I'm careful all the time not to shoot the blue fighter. You notice that I make sure always that I'm he's not in my in my arc of fire. He's turning. I close inside him. And keep on firing, keep on firing, be careful with the bullfighter, I don't want to collide with him. 
and finally he dies. You can see the weapons do their job, but they require a lot, a lot of it, and from a moderately small distance. So yes, the thing I like the last about this, about this plane, to be honest. See our 110 coming, a pisuder, another pisuder, and a hurricane. Also an A5M4 Japanese. Japanese fighters turn very well. Don't try to turn wi uh, with them in this plane. I see there are a lot of rest there, so I simply go up. Build my altitude fast. And now level up. I also uh, see a Buford, and again, this is a ground attack mission, so you have to prioritize bombers. This is not the best um, plane to do so, but if you are the only one up there by enemies, go for them. I lead a bit, get some hits. Follow his six. And accelerate to close on him. So, well, y as, as you can see, the plane is very maneuverable. Doesn't um, perform very well in dives. You haven't seen me dive in a very fast um, maneuver right yet, but. Believe me, at high speeds it locks the ailerons very fast. So it's not a very good high speed fighter. There, I level very close from the Buford. Keep a uh, good burst on him. And finally get him. Reload, because I know I have jumped a couple of my machine guns. Check for a second the scores. Try to select my next target. See a pistol down there, but it's followed by a fighter, and the bull fighter is going to be followed by that Henkel 112. So, the world 12 it is. I double on him. But I notice I won't get a good angle on him. So I close. Keeping an eye on him. Using the vertical to get a good angle. And there you go, finally fall down on him. Use the same burst. But as you can see, not enough. The weapons. <laughs> Still he crashes, but he crashed. I didn't kill him as such. So, well, it's. Still, is a kill is a kill. But yeah, I didn't deal any fatal damage to that plane. Really went down probably because of pilot error. <coughs> Check what's behind me. Use my speed to climb in the vertical and just decide what to do. Come back as already in a dive. See the gladiator, I see the 109. The 109 is much farther, so the gladiator it is for now. Crossing very fast, but he gets taken out. See a Nimrod, a B9 N2, which again, ground strike mission. Bombers are the main target, so I go. With the idea of killing him, but I see the Nimrod is coming close to me, and I don't want that guy to get a free shot on me. If you leave, there you go, he grasped. Uh, if you leave one of those big planes to stick into your six, you are in a serious, serious trouble. Don't ever let them do that. One on nine behind him, get a good series of hits, get his engine oil tank. Get a good position again, fire and kill him. Again, climbing a bit. Taking a look at what's above us. 
Still a couple of bombers. And we are pretty close to win this one, so yep. They are very high, I'm not going to catch them, so yeah, that's mostly it for this game. So I'm going to good for the results, so you can see them. There is, but it's over. And let's see the results. As you can see, 8 kills, no deaths, which is pretty good. And a pretty sizable amount of XP and lions. So, yeah, good game. This time this is another game, also in the same map, as Luke wanted it. I'm behind a plane hand. I see an A5M4 coming up. Get some hits on him. He breaks uh, down and I keep on going up to win some separation. The enemy is attacking our base. We must reinforce its defenses. Go down. I see there's a nice dog fight down down there. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Pisu there. Some good hits. And he crashes. Here you go, first kill. Look around, what's around us. Keeping the climb to keep our energy up. Remember, this is a plane that turns very well, but it's also a pretty good energy fighter. Try to energy fight in it as much as you can. See a buffalo there. Go for him. Kill him fast, which is cool. Move past him. I see another buffalo, which is coming for me. Now what I'm going to do is basically dive away. The buffalos are very, 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 very bad enemies for the Spitfire. For real. They turn better and they are also pretty decent enemy fighters. But well, I was able to dive away and get separation and disengage. So, climbing back, getting some separ some altitude before coming back. Which I'm doing right now. Looking around, I see... Uh, P.U.Y. a Catalina. Which is obviously not the most easy target for this plane. But still, as I said, ground strike, you gotta do what you gotta do. And you got to go for the enemies that you need to kill. In this case, bombers. So, well, again, another pass. Short, short bars. Not to hit any friendlies, not to overheat the weapons. A lot of hits on that guy, but nothing at all. No results. Carolinas are so, so tough. Again, another pass. Trying to fix it, all the hits in one wing. But to no avail, again. Reloading because I have a machine gun jump. And yet another pass. And finally, I get him. But you saw how, how long did that thing take to go down. So, yeah, try to go for fighters if you can, but in Ground Strike you don't have a lot of options. If a bomber comes your way, you have to get him. So, well, now I see <coughs> another buffalo. Get some hits on him. Assist on him, which is cool. Turn him back. And now I have to be a, a bit careful, well a bit, I have to be a lot, because there are a lot of reds there. I see a blue as well, but that guy is pretty much fucked up, so yeah, I have to be careful. The three, the three A1, uh, Japanese day bomber, which turns very well, to be honest. There you go, another Catalina. Ah, I always been forced to try to get those BMOs. But again, you are forced to. 
I have the ball behind me, the dive bomber, but I know I'm much faster than him and he won't be able to close. There you go. Now he's breaking away. And I come back on him. I leave the Catalina alone because I know I have no chances to bring it down fast. And the ball is a much possible target, so we'll put some hits on him. Okay, turn in the vertical, got on him. Long burst, long hits. But again, it was too far. That's the problem with these weapons. You have to be really close for them to be effective. I put a lot of bullets on that guy and they did nothing basically. So another pass. Hundreds of hits. But the guy won't go down. So well, time for another pass. Oh well, he gets taken out by someone else, so... oh well. Uh, you see, the weapons are not the best. The weapons could be better. Hurricane there. Get a good opening burst on him, break away before he crashes against me. And this part you saw on the preview. I dab on him. Kill him, and now I know I have someone in my back. What's that? Oh, Buffalo. That's bad news for this plane. So what I do is to pull a trick on him. I got the throttle, dive to win the speed, but he'll win it faster because I'm turning much closer than him. So I slow down more than him, he passes me, and now he's done. You saw this in the preview video I put up yesterday, so you know what happens now. There you go. He's dead. Gladiator down there. SPD as well. I avoid the SPD head on because the 50 cars do a lot of damage. There you go, long bars on the gladiator. Move back because there were a lot of rest there. The gladiator down there. And there you go. Keeping an eye on those two buffaloes that are up there, but they are still very far, so I'm not worried by them. Good hits on the gladiator, but again, not enough to kill. He's stuck on the PBY, so I have another option to kill him. Again, good hits, very steady burst. Get a critical on his tail and finally kill him. Well, you know, the Gladiator is not exactly the most mm, tough uh, plane in the in the plane set. And you saw how much I had to put on that guy to kill him. And well, now what I'm doing is basically going back, landing and repairing. And then I up again, but by the time I go up again, the battle is basically lost. So, well, no sense in... Just making you see me landing and taking off, we'll cut it off and back to Angar to the conclusions. Well, you saw that, pretty capable fighter in its own term, uh, turf. It's um, great, it's for me one of the best, um, best level 4 fighters, if it wasn't for the weapons. If it wasn't for the weapons. Because of the weapons, I think the... The P4E is a better level 4 plane and the Ki-61, the Capture one, the the American one, is also a better fighter. Uh, still, it's a very powerful plane and not to be underestimated. 
because if you let one of these get close to you and let loose all these weapons you might find yourself in a serious trouble in no time so well that's all for tonight's uh, today's video hope you enjoyed hope you helped it a lot hope you like the um, battles and uh, well if you like the video of course give me the thumbs up always helps any comment you want to add please do so below in the comment section uh, also remember i do have a facebook account and you are welcome there so friend me friend me there if you want to and of course if you haven't yet and you want to feel free to um to subscribe uh, thank you very much for watching and see you later.